Good evening. Um, I wanted to do a little follow up. I had promised to get a video with um, my menus for um, how I do my menus and um, so here I am for a few minutes um, to just do a real quick video, nothing exciting. Um, so here I have, um, this is, there's my fridge and there's a the kitchen. So I'm going to actually spin. I don't have the um, technology to flip my camera because it's just the phone, but I can actually show you here. Um, so here's my uh, menus. Um, this is our current menu. And if you see, I've got previous menus here. Um, I actually have quite a few more, but um, I think I only have like five or like, I think like five here, four or five here. And um, so what I do is I have on our, and on Mike, if you go to Microsoft Word, um, you can look up under family calendar and you can, it'll pull it up and you can, first of all, there's a little spot for a picture and you can change the picture. And what I like to do is I like to put, um, if any one of the children has a birthday, then I like to put that. And as you can see, birthday, um, the two birthday kids are here. And then in July was when we had that last loss. So I had my picture with the um, little announcement on there. Um, and, um, and I actually did the calendar before we lost the baby. So I, um, I did that. And then I think next year I might just do Claudia as well. Cause I would have done her as well. Um, so we've got that, um, next month, Josiah's birthday. So I'll be doing his picture in there. Um, but you can either pick starting on Monday or on Sunday. And I'm old fashioned. I like Sunday be, you know, Sunday's always been the first day of the week. So I like to keep it that way. Um, but you can actually add if you it's hard to tell I'm trying to zoom in a little bit but you can add um you could put your different menus on there and as you can see what i do what i do is once i print it out then i um every day i check mark that we either had that or as you can see i make changes um on it so it kind of gives me an idea of okay the kids didn't like this or this is what we did instead so, um, and I'll show you some of previous months as well. So you can see last month's, the first half was pretty good. I followed the menu pretty well. And then the second half was kind of, you know, <laughs> shot. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, the second week was, the second part of the month was the last part of uh, summer school. So we did a lot of changing things up. We ate out a lot. <laughs> So, um, and if you look at also, there's also a little spot for the notes and, um, there's like here, I have different things. I usually try to do a verse, uh, Bible verse on the bottom as like, kind of like a month's Bible verse. Um, so here, so anyway, I've got it. Um, this is the month verse for this month. Um, and um, so anyway, there's the calendar. Um, I try to get it done by the beginning of the month, but it doesn't always happen. Um, so last, um, I'll get, I've, lately it's usually I get, I usually get the menu done by the first week of the month so there is an occasion where I'll actually get two months done at once and that's fantastic however usually this by the time I do that the second month there's a lot of changes because there's a lot of things that I'm not accounting for um, that I don't plan on because I usually don't get things planned that far in advance so while I have the menu done and printed that's when it, you'll see a lot of changes. So, but one thing I do like about this is that I'm not really good at planning. I'm working on focusing. I'm working on um, on my attention. So this really helps um, me to 
at least I can see what's on the menu, even if I just look for, for the upcoming week and I can order groceries. Um, so I can see that um, next week, um, and, it, and in a couple of the places, I'm actually pointing, which is pointless because you can't see it. And I don't know how to do like split screens and stuff like that. But um, Mondays and Tuesdays, Titus has therapies. He's got swimming, which is swimming lessons, but technically it's a therapy so that his insurance pays for it. Um, but they, they, it's, it is a therapy for him because it helps him. Um, it's an easier way for him to work his muscles. And also he has hippotherapy, which is riding therapy, horse therapy on Tuesdays. So Mondays and Tuesdays are, um, Tuesdays especially because his, his riding is, earlier it's he has to be there at 5 45 so it's like him and Matthew actually enjoys taking him so him and his dad will leave early so they have to eat lunch a supper super quick um Mondays I've been I took him last Monday and I probably will be doing a lot of the taking him on Monday um his it's not until seven so we don't have to leave until 6 30 because it's a half an hour away so um so that is a little bit less hectic because we can eat, we have more time to eat as a family. So um, so Mondays and Tuesdays are pretty busy. And then once um, September starts, our church has uh, a WANA program and that is on Wednesdays. So, which is why we chose Mondays for um, water. And actually we don't plan on having him in swimming all the time as long as he needs it but mainly for his building his confidence and so he's not super scared of swimming so um but monday tuesday and wednesdays will be very busy basically during the school year um thursdays and fridays will be our downtime um unless of course they do start up our church has choir and i'm in the choir and last year there wasn't enough um to have the choir so we just did like a modified choir um, at Easter time. So hopefully, um, this fall I'll be able to be back in choir. So that's four days during the week that will be busy. And then Friday is pizza movie. So what I like to do, um, is, and, um, is do the things I know. For example, Fridays are 90% of the time pizza movie unless somebody has an appointment or for example Friday Solace's birthday was on Friday so she got to pick and if she would have chosen something else then I actually had it on the menu for a pizza movie to be on Saturday so that way if she didn't want to have pizza she didn't have to also the boys were at summer camp the first week of August so this way they could have participated but she chose pizza movie for her birthday so that's fine um also, so what I do is, if you'll kind of glance back, I do um, all, I start with all of Fridays and I just add that all in because I know it's consistent. Same with um, writing lessons and then now this all, and then now swim lessons. And actually this was his first swim lesson, so that's why there was nothing there. So um, swim lessons here. And, um, and then the, the days that we have stuff going on, which next month I'm going to be adding Wednesdays, um, will be a lot, um, more, um, a lot simpler. For example, breakfast for supper, that's easy if we're going to just throw some eggs together, bacon, um, you know, like here, cereal, yes, we do that for supper sometimes, chips. Um, frozen meals. So these are some simple stuff. A lot of times I'll do kids choice so they basically I can basically tell them just Whatever you want for supper pick it, you know as long as it's something somewhat healthy That's what you can have so I do that and that kind of takes up some of the space so I don't have to think of so many things but um, I have a, a ice cream recipe that I like that's healthy. There's sugar no sugar in it It's a trim healthy mama one and I'll do ice cream Sunday and then we'll do like different um, like strawberries and different like toppings um, but we'll do in this summertime I do like cookout a lot of the times we're gonna be going to Six Flags tomorrow um, so 
yeah, so we've been doing, actually last week I did pretty good about adding, about getting things on the menu. Um, so, um, and I added like, I added asparagus to this one and here I added the Fritos. So, um, so you can see, so adding, you know, simple things on Mondays and then mostly Tuesdays, simple things. And then on Fridays, pizza movie, basically. Oh, and of course, happy birthday, Linus. We're gonna let him pick what he wants. Um, and yeah, so usually what I do on their birthday, they get to pick whatever they want, whether it's mommy to make something special or to go out somewhere special, um, then we'll do that. So that's what I do. And it's actually really nice. I really enjoy that because it helps me to be a little more prepared. Um, I can, you know, make sure here, like I have enough bread. I can make sure I have the sausage because I don't always have it at home. Um, and if it's like here, for, like, like I also rotate the pizzas. I don't always get, out, you know, we don't always order pizza out. Sometimes I make it homemade from a recipe. Um, I actually have a really good um, sprouted bread recipe. And if I can remember, I will link the, um, I will put the link in it. It's from uh, joyfuljane.com. And I'll link that below if I remember. I'll hopefully remember to do that for you. And then here frozen, I'll just, I'll just grab a bunch of frozen pizzas. Um, makes it easier. Um, so anyway, that's our menu and that's what I do. Um, hopefully that helps. But then what I like to do when I do the next menu is I look through the old one and say, okay, what worked, what didn't work, you know, because I don't want to put things on the menu that either the kids aren't going to eat or nobody liked, especially if I didn't like it that I, and the kids didn't like it, that I totally understand. So that is what, um, that's the menu for you. And I'm sorry you hear my tornado in the background, but this is home life with five children. So anyway, um, that is our menu and that's how we do it. I have a bunch here if you, um, you know, super easy, super, I actually enjoy it. Um, what I do, um, because my word, I don't know if I need to update it, but um, let me go back to me. Um, I don't know if I need to update it, but if I type it in, I can save it. But then if I um, put it down, like like X out of it, and then you know shut it down and then bring it back up, for whatever reason, as soon it'll pop up, it'll go blank. The whole thing goes blank and I have to retype everything in. So what I do is, um, if, if anybody has a solution to that, that would be great. Um, if not, um, what I do, if anybody else has that problem, is I um, I either write it on paper or I write it in my phone's notepad. Um, I start with one through 31 and I just, you know, I put all the stuff in that I know, like pizza movie, Titus in swimming lesson, Titus's writing lesson, um, you know, Linus's birthday, Solace's birthday, all the birthdays. And I fill up all the ones that I know. Um, and then that way, the days where I need to actually decide on something that I can actually sit and cook, then I will do that. So pretty much I've got four, I've got 14, two weeks worth just done right there from Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays being done, actually plus the two birthdays. So I have 16 days right there already planned. And that makes it easy for me. That um, helps me out. But anyway, there's your... Um, there's your, my menu that I promised you to go over with you. But if you need help planning this way, it's so nice because the kids actually love it because they can come up here and my older two readers, they can come up and look and see the date. They can say, oh, we're having grilled cheese today. Or, oh, we're having, um, we're cooking, we're grilling out burgers. Or, you know, we're having chicken, something like that. So they know what we're having. And um, they actually enjoy that because... Um, it helps them prep their minds for instead of like, oh, you're having meatloaf. I don't like it. Or they'll come up to me. What are we having? What are we having? Um, they can look for themselves. And actually Matthew likes it too because he can see what we're having. Um, a couple times he said, oh, honey, we're doing this instead. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I can cross it off. And sometimes like, um, where is it? A couple of times. Let me see if I can find the... Sorry, my nose. I need to see my big nose. All right. Let's see. There's a couple of them where I've got like, 
at least two years worth of menus and I actually keep all of the papers because of that computer thing I was telling you about where it wouldn't save really well. Okay, it doesn't. So here's the only one I could find. If you look at three and four here, I swap them out. I just do arrows right there. So it makes it easier if I, if something is come up and like the one time where we had an emergency and I just said, get whatever they want, get, you know, whatever the kids want. And then we just kind of do arrows. So, um, so yeah, so that works great. Makes no, you know, it makes it easier, makes it tangible and, um, yeah, and I can go through and say, okay, we need this for this, and I can actually order on my my phone. I can pop the thing in, go here, you know, like, you know, okay, here, add the ingredients here, add the, you know, just get, and then I can just order all the ingredients for like a, up to like a week's worth at a time if I want to, or if I say, okay, I need this, and this will take, you know, it will, whatever, you know, like whatever will freeze, or like if I'm getting something like that, then I can do that. Anyway makes it easier and um, yeah, makes my life a lot better and actually when I wasn't doing it I actually did it for two months um, until I got pregnant with the, our oldest daughter and I was so sick with her that I just didn't do it and so I didn't do it for months I don't remember how many months but it was a long time that I didn't do the menus and when I didn't do the menus we ate out a lot more or we just ate like cereal or we didn't eat much at, out at all I didn't make much at all because I just was so overwhelmed and this gives me something so anyway if you get overwhelmed if and it actually helps a lot with having all the the kids you know the big family so anyway there's my tips for you hope you have a wonderful evening